Hi guys, I just got this uh, Blockstream Jade hardware wallet from Bitcoiner Malaysia. I have already uh, started earlier, updated the firmware, and now we will try and create a new key from it. This is how you start the key generation. It's very simple, you just have to start it and then you use the rolling button to move it around. So you can choose either 12 words or 24 words. Okay. Then it will show you the seed, seed words. Of course, it's important that you must, you must back it up correctly, accurately. I skip that part. This is the last word that I'm putting in. Now, the interesting part about this is once you finish creating the key, your private key, it will ask you, of course, after you finish creation, it will ask you to test whether you have written it correctly. So it will just randomly choose a few uh, maybe like words number four, numbers words number seven, and then ask you to key, key in the correct one. You just have to scroll to the right one, and if you have recorded everything correctly, it will have verified without any problems. There you go. It's pretty easy. The really cool part about this Jade hardware wallet is it allow you to transpose, translate, or convert your seed words into a QR code. So this is what you call a compact QR, seed QR. Now this is how you go through it. Very interesting. You will of course uh, go to the website, you can actually download the, the compact seed QR template, which I already printed at the back, you can see. Now this is how it works. It will go through uh, square by square and show you where to note down the the particular uh, all the tiny squares there okay for example this is uh, the earlier one is for C, uh, A1 now it's A2 A2 is the second block so all you need to do is follow instruction take a black marker pen and just write it down note it down nicely now I skip that part, it's a very long thing. Now this is, this is the last piece that I'm coloring in. Now I purposely do it in such a way that uh, not very precise, I didn't really color to the edge, everything. Sometimes I just sometimes I draw a hole, uh, paint the whole thing black, sometimes I just put a dot. And you can see that it's actually very uh, friendly uh, and it is have high fault tolerance. So even though you can see just now, it's like a mess, but it will be able to read. Now, once you finish, it will ask you to verify whether you have actually did it correctly. Right, ask you to scan it. Now, this scanning thing sometimes does take some time. You know, it could be 30 seconds, it could be 10 seconds, it could be 45 seconds, depending maybe on the lighting condition or how the thing detects. Okay, it can be irritating this part. But do bear with it. It really works. Alright. Left, right, and uh, go, go lower, go nearer, go further. Maybe it's the angle. Well, be patient. What you want to know is it works, as you can see in Shirley. Actually, what happened is uh, I tilt the paper so that it's in an angle. Maybe you can read it better. There you go, All right? Tells you, verify. Now, of course, the next step will ask you whether you want to put in the past phrase. Uh, for this test, we just put no. Because we want to go straight to the next part. Okay, now that your seat, your key has been created, it will want to connect the hardware wallet to another companion software. I'm using a Blockstream Green wallet. You can actually, there's many other wallet that you can try. I'm connecting via Bluetooth. So whatever is your phone, just allow Bluetooth. Select the device because it's hardware. Select Blockstream. Allow Bluetooth. 
and then you will find here you can actually compare once you say confirm you want to do it it will give you even the serial number and it will match the serial number of the device together with the blockstream green wallet the software wallet the mobile wallet so this you know that it's actually con uh, connecting to the right one now once you've done the connection it will ask you to select what type of uh, key it is so we are using a, this is a single signature not the multi-sig so we'll do the single signature pairing it confirm press the big button Okay, once connected, it will ask you to set up the pin. Now, the pin is very important. Do not miss this step. I don't think even allow you to skip it. So, you must put in the pin. Put in the pin and then verify the pin again. Because without the pin, people cannot access to your hardware wallet. So, that is part of the security, right? Now, once the pin is set up, it has been paired to the green wallet and it's ready to be used. Now here's the part that sometimes people get confused. Why is there something called a legacy account and then option for you to click and then click on it? You have to, you can actually choose to create another account. Now this is merely talking about address type. If you can always choose the native segwit because that one gives you the most efficient in terms of fee. It's the address will start with BC1. You can put in whatever name, it doesn't really matter. There you go. All right. After this. We will try to uh, start from the beginning again. Okay, this is uh, how we put it up again. After I shut everything down, you turn it on. All right, it will just show that at once there's nothing happening here. Now, what you need to do now, of course, is take the mobile wallet, the companion, right? This is the companion. Select the device, which is, uh, of course, a uh, block stream. All right? Click on it. Single signature wallet. Okay. Now this is the time where it's asking for the connection to the hardware wallet. And it will ask you to put in the pin. That is why if you don't have this pin, you cannot access your wallet. And I believe if you do it wrong three times, it will wipe everything out. Once it's wiped, if you don't have the backup of the seat, it's all gone. But you follow this instruction, it's not very difficult. right there you go now the reason we want to have the mobile wallet because the mobile wallet will be the one the we call it the companion software is where it will construct transaction to to generate an, a receiving address if you want to send bitcoin to it See, for example this is the first time because you want to receive something to this particular uh, private key we will generate an address you will notice the address, of course, is the BC1. This is native SegBit, the most efficient address currently. And even allows you to verify whether this is the same one that is generated on the hardware wallet. You know, this is a very good uh, way to make sure uh, there's no hacking. You know, uh, right? It actually pair it correctly. So, of course, uh, we can copy the address and then we'll go to another wallet to send some Bitcoin over. Here, of course, is Samurai. Samurai is a very powerful wallet, a mobile wallet. But if you want something simple, you can just use uh, even Broxim Green or even a blue wallet. I just send, I think, uh, 10,000 sets. Well, for me personally, I like to check. Uh, how busy is the network okay check the mempool not busy i put the lowest just one set per byte there you go confirm send so the block stream green constructed the transaction oh sorry this is not the blockstream. this is the samurai it constructed the the block stream construct the address the samurai wallet will send bitcoin to the particular address now this green screen is actually the samurai wallet 
Now you will realize it is a, a bit slow. Now the reason is because when I use Samurai, you have an option to connect to Tor. The Tor network uh, allows much uh, privacy, but it is a bit slow. So if you don't want to have uh, all this waiting time, don't use Tor, but just a few more seconds, right? Just wait for it. It's just a bit slow. Then I go back to the box screen, you will see that it already showed the transaction that is coming in. But of course, this is not confirmed yet. So uh, you just have to wait for the confirmation. We will come back after this and we will perform a sending of Bitcoin. And you see how it pairs with the hardware wallet. We require the signature, the signing of it. So essentially, a hardware wallet or any Bitcoin wallet, it is basically a signing device. It signs transactions. Again, you turn it on, it will just show that at once. There's nothing much. So you must open the companion wallet. Select the hardware that you want which is of course a Blockstream Jade. Select the address, the signature type, which is of course a, multi, a single signature, and then it asks you to put in the pin. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. Okay, done. Now this block screen will be to be every time it will default to the legacy even though you already set it to native segwit. Okay, the earlier part, Samurai sent some 10,000 sets over here, it's already been received. So what I want to do now is I want to send it back out. So now I'll go to the Samurai wallet, go to the receive button and create an address on Samurai. When you use all these things, we assume that you do have some experience in sending and receiving. So you copy the receiving address, you go back to the green. Now you want to paste in. Go to the send button and paste in the receiving address of the samurai. In this case, I send everything out. You can choose the fee. The fee is quite low, so it doesn't matter, it's just one set. So if you want to do testing, find a time where it's low fee, not busy network. Okay, now I ask you to confirm everything. You want to send to this particular address. Now the moment you slide OK, this is where it will send the transaction over to the hardware wallet for the hardware wallet to, to sign it with the private key. You confirm the amount, you confirm the fee, you press OK, That's, there you go. That is the purpose of the hardware wallet. Now you must know, uh, the private key or the seed words never leave the hardware wallet in this case. Right? The companion app is just to construct transaction, send it over to be signed, receive it back and send it back out. Thank you very much.